I was just going out the door and I couldn't resist this piece here to talk a little bit about this so before we leave Robin to back to his work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so tell us about it. Okay, well, uh, what I was trying to do was make painting more analogous with architecture, all right? And so I'm putting these straight lines into a re regularly organic shape uh, of, of a landscape or whatever. And uh, this landscape, by the way, is of uh, Lloyd Butte, and we were talking about Lloyd Butte a while ago, uh, but there it is. Yeah. And I've stretched out that landscape on the two sides into an abstraction. And then we hit pure abstraction with these, these panels, like a green field, midnight sky, sunset. Here's another beautiful sunset here. But uh, I included, uh, a face because I was moving from the faces at the time back into landscape. And so this is just a little homage to, to my previous style. Uh, but what happened with this, uh, this, this style was pretty soon I was thinking where should, you know, the focal point be? And, you know, where does the composition hit uh, in its, you know, its best way? And that led me to the armature of the rectangle, which is Pythagoras, and music. And uh, that can be seen down here. Uh, and now I use this grid every time I compose a painting, a figure, or landscape, or still life. Uh, and what it is, is you cross the corners, like so, that gives you your center. From the center, you get this star shape that uh, you're seeing only half of it here. But um, where these intersect here and here, a sine wave can go right in here. And so that's Pythagoras saying that musical harmonies lie on full notes, quarter notes, half notes. And so that's what this grid is all about. And we try to get the composition to hit on those, those diagonals or, or uh, you know, coordinates uh, to make the best possible use of, of, of the space. It's also showing me the sacred geometry that's in everyday life. Right, right. You know, we're, we're pattern recognizing animals from what I understand. So you, if you can recognize a pattern in a painting, that is going to give you a lot more comfort than a painting that doesn't show a pattern. Or shows an irregular pattern. Yeah, yeah. Shows something, something that's disturbing yeah. to the eye. Right. Yeah. Well, this is amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You bet, Ken. Thank you. <laughs>